the idea for this came to me several weeks ago when I was making a gingerbread cookie dough which is an indispensable part of Christmas in our household. I quickly noted everything on a piece of paper and here is the result. I present you gingerbread cookies reference guide. I have to start with a little disclaimer. This is not a reference guide you can really use for measuring cookies or understanding cookies or learning about cookies. This is a beautiful folio which was inspired by this idea. It means that I was thinking about different reference guides when deciding what to include in this folio, how to create the pages. The aim was not to create something practical. My aim was to create something interesting, beautiful, heartwarming to look at. We will talk about the purpose of this a little bit later, but let's open it. And here it is. So this is gingerbread cookie guide slightly Christmassy themed. I did not use any particular decorative paper collection. I went through my stash and used everything. There are papers from different collections and different ideas brought together. I still think it has some Christmassy feel, even if it's not your typical green and red shiny Christmas project. So let's start with the center, central page, which are the cookies themselves. They are made of several layers of paper and held down by magnets. I did use cutting dies for two of them. For the third one, for this one, I just freehand did the gingerbread man. The magnets, of course, are not necessary. I could have just glued the cookies down, but in my case, the magnets serve the double purpose. The construction of this folio is such that on the opposite side of the closure, there are these two folds, and if there was nothing to hold them together, they would just come open. That's why the magnets that hold down the cookies also hold together the two sides of the folio. A little bit of engineering there. So this is a page of the shapes, and I, as you see, I didn't use any Christmas papers on this page. I used the science collection papers there. So this is our cookies done. Cookies need an icing or glazing. So the next page is the samples for the icing. So I created samples that you can take out of the pockets and put on top of your cookies to see which one you prefer. It could be a simple dollop of icing. It could be something fancy like this fleur de lis. You can try which cookie it suits best. It can be just simple circle. Again, I didn't use any specific Christmas cutting dies here. A smaller heart on a heart shaped cookie, of course. It can be the text. or very intricate icing, which actually was a specific uh, Christmas cookie cutting die. So that's our icing page. And the next page is the bake, so the colors. Again, no Christmas papers on this page whatsoever. But this idea gave me an opportunity to get out my watercolor set and water watercolor a little bit. So I made this color swatch or color example insert. <laughs> and I wrote some description of all the colors going from the oven has not been switched on to call the firefighters for the black one. And the last page. Here we come to the purpose of this folio. I saw that, for example, this can serve 
as a very intricate envelope for your Christmas card. So that's why I left this uh, uh, little blank card with just some Christmas stamp to show that you could put your Christmas card in here. But also this could be a very generous gift if you decided to give somebody your grandmother Alma's Christmas cookie recipe. You could put the recipe here. And of course this folio can go on and on and on. For example, I left here this little memorabilia from some sugar records journal meaning that you can add pages for example about the ingredients of the cookies you can add pages about the many spices that go into gingerbread cookies you can add a page about the ways to color the icing there are so many ideas and i wish next year to remember to do this sooner and i so that i can add more and more pages but i hope that this inspires you to create something similar and use all the ideas you have to create pages that have not seen been seen before. So what do you think? What other pages we would include in this folio? Uh, as always, the discussions are open in our big fat mixed media group in Facebook. Go find us there. Please leave the comments, leave your ideas, your photos if you decide to create something similar. And I also have a question. Creating folios like these takes a long time. That's why I only showed here the final product. But do let me know if you would be interested in watching a long, long tutorial on how to create a project like this.